If you try importing a Photoshop file directly onto the timeline, it's gonna flatten all your layers. But there is another way. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to import layered Photoshop documents into DaVinci Resolve. And I'm also gonna show you my top secret pro tip to update new PSD changes after it's already on your timeline. I have a Photoshop file here with five layer titles and a gradient background. You can see each layer soloed by option or alt clicking the eyeball icon. Now to import this into DaVinci Resolve, we need to start by right clicking in the media pool and choosing to create a new fusion composition. Make it as long as you think you might need then set the frame rate to match your deliverables. Double click it and now you're in fusion, but don't sweat it. I'm here with you. This is going to be very simple. Go to the fusion menu down to import and choose PSD. Navigate and open the PSD you'd like to edit into your video. And just like that, you have individual nodes for each layer. It's visually upside down from what was in Photoshop, but the order is still the same. To see all the layers merge together, drag the gray output box of the top layer, which is now at the bottom, to the input of media out. The media out node is how Fusion flattens this composition out to a timeline to see what the edit page sees. Without this, it would just be a black screen. Now, the normal nodes here are just 2D merge nodes that combine layers into a single video image, but we don't need those for this demo because I'm gonna show you how to break this into five separate text titles with the gradient background. So let's get rid of them. Click and drag to select them and hit delete. To preview the other Photoshop layers, drag them up to the left viewer, and if it's not visible, click this dual single viewer button. And the critical thing to know here is that media out is what ends up on the timeline. So make sure to click and drag the media out node up to that viewer to see what you're gonna end up with when you toggle back to the edit page, which is the shortcut shift four to get there quickly. Break apart the PSD into clips. To break the Fusion Comp into individual clips from Photoshop layers, drag it onto the timeline and duplicate it by option on a Mac, while it's on a PC, dragging to Video Track 2. Also, if you hold Shift, you can constrain the left and right position. Now place the cuts where you want to change to a new title graphic. Go ahead and place those cuts. And now each of these title segments on the timeline is going to act like an independent fusion comp. But what makes this so special is that they actually all link back to the original PSD file, which is actually editable. Place your timeline playhead over the first clip. Go back to fusion. Now disconnect the flow connection by clicking on the right half of the line. That's going to disconnect it. Now you're going to click and drag from the gray output box of the first text layer to media out. Go back to the edit page. Remember that shift four? And you've got text. Rinse and repeat for the rest of the nodes. Update any new PSD changes back in Resolve. Open Photoshop and make the change. Maybe make the color something different and then save it. Now back in Resolve, here's the trick to force a refresh on the timeline. Double click to load the PSD that's already in there into your source viewer. And then for a couple of seconds, scrub another area of the timeline like back and forth. This actually seems to purge the memory so DaVinci Resolve looks at the newly saved version of the PSD. Now you should be able to see and play back the change. I hope this tutorial helped you learn something new today. This is actually, this is Creative Video Tips. I'm Chadwick. Thank you so much for watching. And because there is so much more to learn, I'll see you in the next video.